All right, morning, morning. Today is September 5th. This is where we camped last night. Um, ran to here, pitch black, and then it started pouring down rain on us. So you'll just see a last clip of us like wet and humid. Everything got soaked. Um, it was like, yeah, pitch black, like 9, 10 maybe. <sighs> was what it was. Um, got soaked. So, yeah, we're packing up. It's like mm, 7.30, 7.40. Probably get stepping by 8. And we have like 33 miles about, maybe a little under to the Porkies where we should be getting our ride to the bridge. So, cool, cool. That was a rough night last night, um, being so soaked, but new day, new day, who dis? Adventuring with Cinnamon Part 4. Oh no. We haven't started yet, but maybe as the day goes on, we can adventure with Cinnamon together. Yes, girl. Oh, she didn't say anything. Okay. We continue onwards. I thought you were trying to get me wrong. Mm -hmm. Super sensitive eye cells. Uh-huh. Text like infinitely different shades of like blue and green bioluminescence that the humans only read as like blue or green. Uh-huh. And they use that. They don't know why they have that, but they're like, it's gotta be either something for hunting or something for breeding. Mm -hmm. But they can Alright, we just got finished up with the plateau walking. Um few miles of bouncing through there this morning. So now, stream beaver pond. I like how they just have that listed on there. Now we go up yonder, 29 miles to the Porky. So I guess that's our mileage for the day. We got 29 left on the day. Um, cool. All right, we're gonna go up there in a second. Magpie wants to become a passive pooper. All right, fine. What do you wanna go up? I'm just, no, no, just call me a passive pooper, why don't you? Active pooper. Rude. Now you're about to be an active pooper. Okay. Okay. Gotta take my jacket. We, we are officially in the Trap City, baby. Trap Hills. He's just been on this train of talking about Trap City since we got near the Trap Hills. Uh-huh. He won't stop. Trap, Trap City, baby. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, all right. We're in the Trap City. Trap Hills, babe. Oh. You're telling me there's not a city around here? Huh. All right, we're gonna go trapping in the trap city, baby. Oh, uh, we start climbing. Oh, wow. So that little peak was what we played in last night and dropped down off of into the valley below. Then we came up this side. Yeah, then we came up this bouncy. It's like these little sky islands of Michigan. Which yeah. is pretty cool. Um, and now we're trapping. Okay, that's really enough of that. It can't stop, baby. Okay. Um, beautiful though, wow. Wow. That's really cool. That hill way behind Magpie is the one like before that ridge line. Yeah. You can see the last 20 miles of what we did. Even though it looks super close, like with the amount of bouncies and squiggles, it's, about it's like 20, 20 miles. miles. Yeah. yeah. Super cool. All right, we're just dipping the wick in, so there's going to be more of this to come, I think. Beautiful. Wow.
It's like cauliflower. You want to eat some cauliflower? I do not eat that. We eat all of it? No. All right, we eat all of it. Don't eat it. It's, it's probably not good for you. Nope, it's just cauliflower. Disclaimer, don't eat mushrooms that you find in the forest that you don't know what they are. It was a joke. It was a joke, people. Don't eat mushrooms that you don't know what they are. I will say that again because probably not going to be good. It's going to hurt pretty bad. Point eight might be good for lunch. So the trap hills are really cool. Like all of a sudden you're back in deep forest after being like on the top of these hills with like really cool overlooks. Um, I don't know, it, it changes so fast. So, Trap Hill's definitely one of my fav more favorite sections of uh, Michigan so far. Um, the ups and downs are nice. The scenic views are actually like, feels like you're climbing uh, baby mountains, not full mountains, but baby mountains. Um, it just feels most similar to the type of hiking that I'm familiar with and that I like doing, so. That's probably why. Um, but yeah, really, really pretty, really beautiful. We're going to, I think I filmed the sign when we crossed from the last trap hill. So like the way the trap hills is situated is kind of what I was showing you yesterday. Um, the tail end out of Victoria. And then this morning is like, it's these hills that you have to go down deep into the draws to get across. You don't really hug the ridge line and they connect. They're kind of segmented sky islands. So it's pretty cool, like you go all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, and we're going kind of up right now to find lunch at a scenic view spot. Let's go check it out. Getting close to the scenic overlook. Yeah, but I'm also getting close to 200. All right, it's 11.40, so my projection was about 10 minutes off, but it was because I wasn't doing the math correctly. Um, this actually got us here at the exact timing. That so, would have been predicted if you had known what time it was when you made your prediction. Yep, so ready? That's the viewpoint there, and then blah plam. Really pretty. Really, really pretty. So, um, travel is pretty awesome. Get that window, baby. So, we're gonna sit here, eat lunch. I'm gonna stop talking because. We're gonna do a short lunch, maybe 30 minutes, get stepping by 12, 10, 12, 15, the latest, um, and keep on cruising, keep eating some miles. Oh yeah. I'm a big fan of Trap City Hills, baby. Okay, that's enough of that. Can't stop. Baby, do we get to do a beaver ford? Baby, just a little bit of beaver ford. Aw, this is Bear Creek. There's better water sources than this out there, folks. Um, yeah, in the Trap Hills, there's a lot of good water that's not listed on the maps. The ones that are listed on the maps are consistent, but not the best. Um, yeah, you got water for days. You got water for days. All right, something's biting the back of my leg. I got to itch it. Ow! Mm. Whoo! Stepped on a root that was straight pointy. Really hurt the arch of the foot. All right. We're gonna, I think, climb the other spot now. It's actually got cold, so I'm gonna pop out of the puffy too while we climb. All right, climb to another top. Um, that was another good climb. No views yet, but we're on another plateau. The plateau after Bear Creek. Um, you kind of climb through the same brush like this and get up to the top, then you kind of bounce along the top. So really beautiful. Even without the giant rolling views, once you get onto these plateaus, um, they're just beautiful. Yeah, wish I could film all day, but 
Instead, I just gotta get you the moments that I can. I wish I could just have a 24 seven live feed. <laughs> Drain the hell out of the battery. All right, I think we're at the top of something. We're top-ish. Um, there's a white blaze there. But I don't know where the blue blaze. Uh, the blue blaze, I think we're about to get a view um, right after this. So do a quick trail log and then go grab a viewage. Tippity toppity, hoppity floppity, bippity boppity. Yeah, one of the better campsites we've seen. Um, some of them have better views, but this one is like right at the top of a good climb. And it's, water right it. yeah, water right before it. Super uh, um, flat, super pretty, right next to a view. What does she say? What does she say? Just calling out some forest roads. Oh, it doesn't say much. No. There's good water right before this sign. All right, we just got to the top of another climb in the trap hills. Um, whew. That breeze is chilly. Um, we're at like 1,700 feet or something. And now we're about to drop down to that forest road. I think we got a few more bounces, maybe one or two. Not bad. Beautiful up here. Yeah, baby. It's before three o'clock. Uh, 17, Magpie says slightly less. So we're making it, oh, one second. All right, we're making it. So 3.7 um, left in the Porkies, um, not the Porkies, um, the Trap Hills. It's been, it's been really, really, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by the Trap City, City, City. Um, you're gonna be doing some bounces. Um, right after this sign, I think we do a pretty big bounce up. We got like two good bounces left. Um, we go up, we go down, then we go up one big one more and drop down. So get ready for some good bounces, but also get ready for some great scenery. By far one of the favorite sections um, so far in Michigan, probably on the trail actually too. Really, really nice. Beautiful stuff around here. Alright, another tippity toppity. I think this is around like 1700 feet, um, if not a little higher. It's the peak peak of what's around us. So, another one bagged, and we got, I think, one more good climb. We might have another little bouncy in here, but then we got like one more good climb. So, alright, trap trap city. We be trapping. We be trapping. Ooh, it's cold, y'all. Um, that wind's coming in. Seems like some storm system is trying to move in. And it's chilly. My face is probably nice and red. Like Frosty the Snowman. Mm, I meant Santa Claus. Frosty the Santa Claus. That's not how the song goes. Ooh, maybe I'm a little uh, alpine high. I don't know. Maybe I'm just always this weird. Baby, am I always this weird? Oh, she said I'm just always this weird. Sad. Okay, we go places. All right, it's 3.30. Um, we got our last climb coming up in the Trap Trap City, baby. Oh, please stop with that. Um, I, haven't, I, didn't do, I didn't do it for a few hours. That's true, you did it. Good job. 
Yeah, so you should be happy there was only one. All right. But um, we're just leaving the pass road. It's like old M84 or something. M64. M64. And um, some folks came out to give us trail magic. So thank you guys for coming out. I got some candy in my pocket. I got a little small soda can in my belly. Um, came out from Wisconsin, so that was pretty cool. It seems like we get all the trail magic and like support and love on the days that we're pushing hard for something or we have a set goal. Like last time in Marquette, we got trail magic back to back to back and we had a goal and like a committed time that we had to meet Lorena for a ride. And again, today we have a set time and a goal that we have to meet Nick for a ride back to the Mackinac Bridge. But regardless, we were still able to spend like 15 minutes chatting and um, sharing some time. So we really do appreciate all the love and support that you guys show. So thank you guys so much. Um, Magpie, you want to say anything? Excuse me? She says thanks for the water and the candy. Yeah. All right, we go forward. All right, top of our last climb. There's a little fire tower. Oh, there it is. Um, that, I don't know if you can go up there. It looks rickety. I wouldn't go up there. Last of our, top of our last climb in the Trap Trap City, baby. The Trap Hills. So now we're gonna drop. Then we gotta start Crush McDidlian Miles to get to the uh, pickup spot um, on Boundary Road to get our ride back to the Mackinac, Mackinac, Mackinac Bridge. Um, so we're, cr we're trying to crush. We're going to crush. I got a crush on her. All right, we're going to go places. Go, baby, go, go. A little bit of jog in that action, baby. The grade's enough that we're going to just start jogging up in here. Oh, it's a nice grade. Can I catch the McDidley? I don't know. How far ahead is she? Let's see. Run with me, run with me, run with me, run. I wish uh, I could do a slow-mo cam onto uh, how sweaty my nip-nops are right now. But you're going to have to suffice with this. Um, wish I could have done some, uh, what's it called? Was it called the Jersey Shore? Baby, what was that show called that they zoomed in on people running slow motion? Baby, what was that show called that they zoomed in on people running slow motion? Baywatch. Next time I do a jog, folks, I'll try to get you a Baywatch camera. Um, focusing on the glory parts of me, but for now, you're going to just have to suffice. And... Hope you enjoyed watching my face jiggle jiggle. My face, my face fat jiggle. That's where the true slow motion camera should be. You just gotta watch the jowls jiggle. That was my nickname in house, high school, jowl jiggle. Not really a good one, but thought I would put that joke in there anyway. All right, let's go. That was a good jog. Oh, I'm gonna burp up the candy. All right, Trap Trap City, baby. We're out. Um. And I think this is the end of the Peter Wolf chapter. Those miles are probably pretty accurate. Pretty close to bang on, um, I think. I think we've done a little over 3,200 miles, but it's just a couple twists and turns. But I would say those are pretty accurate. That's the most accurate mileage I've seen in a long time. So good job, Peter Wolf chapter. Um, we got 12 or 13 miles to bang rang out that way. Um, Mike is going to do a quick sign of the book. It's like 420. Um, and we're going to try to shoot for like 8.30, 8.40 arrival time at South Boundary Road. Yeah, we um, a few minutes. So yeah, sorry Nick that we're a little bit later, but um, we spent some time with some trail angels that came out to pop up and say hi. I'm going to stop talking because I'm gonna get a, I need to get a picture of this as well. And Magpie's going to want to jet as soon as she's done writing. So thank you, Peter Wolf Chapter. You were pretty awesome. A lot of cool people we met. Cool, cool. I didn't see another sign for the porkies, but I think it's like 13.
looks like they ninja starred these uh blazes in here um give me one second let me get up and over this down tree oh give it a straddle give it oh it's a good stretch all right <laughs> it's like they ninja starred these things oh my god all right we're cruising all right, so it's like 5.40, um, and I would say we probably have, I don't know, eight miles left, nine miles left. We've been putting down a pretty crushing pace, so we're making up some time. Um, we'll probably get to South Boundary Road at like 8.30, maybe a little bit before too if the trail stays like this. It seems like it's an old dirt road or old forest service road that um, it's no longer active. So, so far, the trail is contingent to eating some miles, but we shall see. So, probably about three more hours of walking, and, um, we'll be in the Porcupine Mountains, but also be meeting Nick to get our ride back to Mackinac. Um, and walk that bridge, baby. Connect those feet steps, baby. Whew, we're gonna be getting into Mackinac at, like, 1 or 2 a.m., Get like four hours of sleep and then start the bridge walk. Oh, we knew it was gonna be this way. We wanted it this way. We're both committed to connecting those steppy steps. All right, let it go. All right, seven o'clock, almost on the dot. And as you can see, it's pouring. Wet, 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 wet. It's raining. We should be about four and a half miles, if not five, from the spot. Be if we can get there at eight thirty, seven o'clock. And it is wet, wet, and cold, cold. So hopefully, uh, Nick, you're there waiting for us, so we can run into your car all wet and kitty cat like. I don't know how much more footage I'm gonna get. I'm about to put this away. I'm standing underneath a tree to film, um, and we got to rock out some miles. So. Wet, and wet, I do not wet, have wet. GPS. All right, it's eight, eight oh four, and um, whew, that was some cold rain, really cold rain. Thankfully, it stopped, and we didn't have to walk through it the entire time. Um, we are about, from best estimates, underneath a mile and a half to um, the road crossing south boundary. I think we're about to be in the Porkies. It looks like from the map, uh, land management map, you get into the Porkies um, before you cross South Boundary Road. Um, so yeah, about a mile before. So we should be about to be in the Porkies um, and then should be at the road by like, yeah, 8.30 what we predicted. So that's gonna be nice. Wow, that rain was cold. Even the thought, the trail, thinks we're even getting a little close to Wisconsin and it says, oh yeah, I remember you. Rem I remember last time you were in Wisconsin and it rains super cold. All right, we're gonna go places. All right, so super blurry, but um, that is, it's just the lens. Yeah, the lens is just bad. That is where we stopped in the Porkies. The trail goes across there. Everything's We're completely right set. here. Magpie's there. I'm hungry, and I really want him to just film the yep. mileage so that we can eat. Food. And say hi to say hi to Nick. Awesome trail magic trail angel driving us back to the bridge. So we're gonna get going. That trip distance is extremely wrong. What does it say? Thirty something. Thirty point thirty point eight. When we definitely did thirty three and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Did it get in the clip? It is in the clip. We can stop now. Okay. We go places. Okay. We go.